Hi, are you thinking of taking Patricia Bright's social media course called The Break Platform or any other social media course for that matter? Or have you already taken one and you're not sure if you really got value for your money or if your impression about what you got is justifiable? Then watch this video to the end. Alright, so guys, hi to you all. My name is Blessing Unjo, and as you can see from the title, I bought Patricia Bright's course. I bought this course five months ago. I bought it around December, and this is May. Yes, five months ago. And here is what I have to say about this course. Well, I have a lot to say about it, and you're going to find out at the end of this video whether or not I think I got value for my money or if I think that it was even worth my time to start with. So the price of this course is £97. I live in the Netherlands and we spend euros here. So I paid €112 Euros for that course. Two things that I am disappointed about. The first thing that I am disappointed about in this course is the fact that just a few, I don't know, a very short while after I bought the course. Actually, I didn't start taking the course immediately. I bought it because I was busy with another project at the time. So I just kept it on hold. And before I started to take the course, I got news that Patricia Bright slashed the price in half. That was my first, oh no, you didn't do that moment. Like I hadn't even taken the course. And now I realize that a whole lot of people are getting the course for half the price. So that was my first slap myself in the face moment. I'm going to tell you the second thing that I am highly disappointed about. Um, but before I do that, let me give you a little background into this course. Hello, my name is Patricia and welcome to The Break. This is a no ball, no cloak and dagger direct guide to give you the tools to build a business and use your influence via social media. So as you probably already know, Patricia Bride is a very famous, beautiful um, Nigerian born YouTube vlogger. She is based in the UK and she's very successful at the moment. She's well sought after. She actually currently has over 3 million people following her across her various social media platforms so she designed and created this course and gave it the name the break platform because she believes that once you follow the course it can actually give you the break that you are searching for so the main purpose of the course is to give you the tools that you need to build your online business and use your influence on social media. This course is not only designed or designated for beginners alone, because you might be thinking, oh, um, I already know so much about social media. I've been in this space for years. Um, this course probably is not for me. This course was designed not only for beginners who know little to nothing about how to create an online business. It is also designed for both intermediate and advanced um, business people. So the main purpose of this course is actually to show you the various ways or to teach you the various methods in which you can actually monetize your digital platforms and take your online business to the next level. Well, here is the breakdown. The course contains 10 modules and it actually starts with an introduction um, whereby Patricia Bright herself sits in a video and talks about her background, you know, why she got into social media influence marketing, how she she became successful all the hard work that went into it so she always starts every module that you follow with a video talking about the module talking about her experiences and how she was able to really overcome the obstacles that she was faced with mm -hmm. and each module contains documentation workbooks lectures and really exercises that you should do that can actually help you actualize um, your aspirations of really growing your social media presence so i'm just going to really go into my own personal experience with this course um, here are the things that i learned from um, patricia bright to start with I wouldn't call myself a beginner, like a starter starter, um, because I've also been in the social media space for over a decade. So I actually know a few things, but I always knew that I didn't know everything and that there was more than meets the eye. I knew that, you know, what I saw or what I thought I knew was only the tip of the iceberg. I wanted to learn how that was actually one of the main reasons that I took this course, like wanting to really learn how I can really take my online presence my brand because my brand was already there i was already doing my own things 
but I felt like I was stagnant at the point in time. Like, how can I really take it to that next level? Like, how can I become successful as a social media person? I wanted to go into influence marketing, but I didn't really understand how to even get well noticed. Like, um, so I was really facing all this impediments. I had all those questions in my head. I had so many questions that those questions, you can almost not easily find them on Google. Um, there are so many things that I really needed to know and um, following this course really gave me a few reaffirmations and also really opened my eyes to things that I actually didn't know exist. So here is my personal experience. I'm going to take it module by module, at least for the modules that I was really impacted by. Um, I have a list here. So um, one thing that I would say personally that I am highly impressed about this course is the fact that Patricia Bride doesn't only sit there and tell you this is what you have to do, this is what you have to do, this is what you need. She also tells you how to do it and she presents you the tools. You know, it's very easy to say um, you have to plan your content. As a content creator, you have to plan how many times a week or how many times a month you want to upload new videos or new posts, for example. That is one step. But she took it a notch higher. She doesn't only tell you you have to plan your content. She tells you how to plan your content. And she takes it a notch further by giving you the tools to use to really plan your content. So for me, the first thing I stumbled upon was in module two that really blew me off my feet. And that was the content planner that she presented. And this is actually a planner that helps you to plan and create content the right way. So it is not about telling yourself, okay, I post videos every Sunday. Well, personally, I post videos twice a week, Wednesdays and Sundays. But there is a whole strategy behind it that I didn't understand, that I didn't even know. I just thought, you just post a video on Wednesday, post another one on Sunday and you're good to go. Patricia Bright really opened my eyes to the fact that it's not about doing it, but it's about doing it the right way and booking success with it. That is one, one essential thing that if I take nothing away from this course, this one has really changed my game when it comes to the kind of content and how and when I post contents. And another thing that um, I personally admire about this course was in module three, um, in which she teaches the different ways in which to monetize your digital platforms. Of course, I know that there is money to be made online. I know that people do adverts um, for brands on Instagram and they get paid for it from um, 100 euros, 50 euros to a thousand or a couple of thousands of euros. I do know that people make money and I've been approached um, to do a few things for people. And I also know that you can actually earn money on ad revenues on YouTube, for example. Those are two platforms that I know that people can actually monetize content on. But there were other ways of monetizing content that I didn't know about. Even if I had heard about them, I wasn't really sure about the intrigue cases involved or how to even go about them or even to get started. So this is another part of Patricia Bright's course that really taught me those various ways to actually make money online, you know, the various streams of revenue. And I'm just going to list them like on a very, very superficial manner here, you know, without going too much in details, because of course, if you want the details, you need to hear it from Patricia herself. And she's going to really go in depth much more than I can, because after all, I'm only a student and she's the lecturer here. So one of the ways is I already mentioned advertising revenue from Facebook, for example, I already knew that. But do you also know about sponsorships, ambassadorships, affiliate income, merch, licensing? There are so many ways to make money online. And this has really impacted me in such a dramatic way that after I followed the course, I really gave myself different assignments. Like you have to do this, you have to do that. And one of the things that I really set out to do was create affiliate accounts. So now I have joined two affiliate programs, one with Amazon. We all know that, uh, online store. And the other one is bold.com for those of us in this part of Europe. Um, and right now I have already started distributing my link. So that is actually one of the ways through which you can make money online. Um, but there are different other ways and you can find everything in her course. And another thing that she really 
shook me up with was um, branding logos and websites you know she really talked in depth about these things so that really motivated me to do something about my brand so i started to rebrand after i listened to her and it doesn't even have to cost you a fortune you know i created a new logo for myself so now i have rebranded it looks much better now i went from this to that so um another thing that she said was having a website you know having a place it's going to be like a hub your own personal hub where you can have all those various things that you do you do events um well i do events for example um i'm a youtube vlogger uh, i do pageants um i want to go into influence marketing um i want to sell merchandise so all those various things they are just all over the place. Why not have a hub for yourself, like a personal hub for yourself, where people can go to and locate you and find all those various services that you provide. So, you know, that idea of creating a website and I thought, okay, websites cost a fortune. No, babe, they don't have to cost a fortune because she mentioned Wix.com and I was like, that's it. It's a free website creating um, site. So, well, they also have like the premium version of it, of course, that um, if you need an upgrade, you can always pay for it to get an upgrade and then you'd have more features. But I just started with the free one. I created it myself. They have already set up templates. So it's not like you're going to start um, writing programming languages and computer languages and start to design yourself. There are already templates there. Everything has been preset, pre-designed. You just have to select the kind of template that matches your brand, that matches your style um, and your theme. So with that, I just was able in, I don't know, about an hour, three hours, I was able to create my own website. And on that website, I have my social media handles. I have my services, my merchandise and every other thing. The only hitch that I'm still having with the website is that if I want to integrate e-commerce, e-commerce is what enables you to be able to buy and sell online. So like the online shopping, like the web shops that we know, if I want to incorporate that feature, um, in my website or to my website, I would have to upgrade. So I would have to pay. So for people to be, to be able to purchase stuff from my website, I would need something bigger or something higher than just the free version. So that is where I'm still a bit stuck right now. I'm still kind of like thinking whether or not I should take that step. But at least this course that I took was able to really open my eyes to the fact that you need to really take it that notch higher. Another thing that I still love so much, um, about, let me read this about this course, is um, the fact that she also listed how she creates content. You know, how amazing is this? When you see successful bloggers, successful content creators, and you're wondering how do they do it how come their content looks so good you always ask but you almost not always get an answer to your question and surprisingly to me personally Patricia Bright really gave it all away she really mentioned you know all the camera equipment that she uses the editing apps that she uses but one thing that I unfortunately didn't hear her say was the actual app that she uses for her thumbnail she did mention an app but she didn't specifically say that that is what she uses for her thumbnail last but not least one of the things that have been like a misery to me is how much i'm worth like how much should i charge my clients like i said already a few people have contacted me or a few brands have contacted me in the past and asked me if i wanted to post something about them um, sometimes they ask you like what do you charge and that has always been a problem to me because i don't know what i'm worth like i don't even know how to measure it of course there are apps that um, allow you or help you based on your social media following um, the number of um, subscribers you have, for example, the number of views you have, they have like um, automated tools that would help you calculate how much money you should charge. But there's always an imbalance in is this really in line with the services they are asking me to provide. So in this course, that is one major thing that she really helped me with personally, you know, how to negotiate budgets, how to secure deals how to really go back and forth emailing with your client like those things are just 
exceptional to start with. So coming to the question of whether or not I think that I got value for the money, honestly, honestly, from everything that I learned from, you know, this course, because initially I was very, very skeptical about really buying this course. And then I did, and then I followed the course and I wasn't really expecting too much. I was just hoping to just follow the course and just get all the tips, you know, from her here and there, how she does it, how she was able to get to where she is today, how she's even, you know, um, maintaining her position in this online space. But to be honest, I actually got more than I bargained for. I actually got more value for my money than I expected. I got more, um, I got more knowledge than I was even looking out to get when I started out. So this course has really opened my eyes and really given me like all the tools that I need to really kickstart. Actually not kickstart because I am already there, but to really take it to that place that I envision it to be. And I'm really following all the, all the, you know, guidelines that Patricia gave, like branding is already on point. My content planner, I now plan my content on a month to month basis. So I already know right now what I'm going to upload on YouTube in three weeks time. For example, I already know the kind of content that I am going to be creating. In fact, this video that I'm doing today, I already knew three weeks ago, I already knew four weeks ago, actually, that today I am going to be doing this. So it really gives me that clarity in my mind. It really puts me to rest. So I'm not like confused, like, okay, what am I going to do? Sometimes I really sit down for an hour, really thinking, okay, which video am I going to make today? But with this knowledge that I have from um, Patricia Bright, and not only the knowledge, but the fact that she actually put a document of, you know, the, the planning, in the course like that is something because i mean it's it's just mind-blowing to say the least that she actually gave us the documentations that we need like not only that she also put um, i'm gonna read it out she put a remittance advice um, template an income charting template a document template invoice so many different templates that you can actually use you just have to change a few things you know and just make it your own so i don't really have to spend hours upon hours designing all those things and creating them from scratch i'm actually going to be using something that a professional that somebody as large and huge as patricia bride is using i just have to change a few things and then you know it becomes mine so for me that is more than getting value for my money but i am highly disappointed not in patricia bright she really has little or nothing to do with my disappointment but disappointed in myself that i have not really done well for myself like i said i have been in this social media space for over a decade if not more actually almost two decades and i'm asking myself blessings so what have you learned what have you been doing here all these years what have you been playing like i have been doing this thing for the pleasure of it or for the fun of it and i've not always been looking at things strictly in the business point of view of course you should have fun of course you should enjoy what it is you're doing online but you should also be a business-minded person and that is actually something that i liked so much and this course really opened my eyes to really realize that i should have a focus like okay fine you're enjoying it you're on social media but it's not just to waste time what are you actually hoping to derive from this what is your focus what is your goal what do you want you know it really helped me really create that balance in my head really create that you know tell myself okay so why am i actually really doing this what do i want to gain what do i want to um, benefit what where do i want to be where do i want to see myself so it really that is actually the first assignment um, in the introduction, actually in the first module, I think, to really answer those questions. What kind of person do you want to be? What kind of online person do you want to be? But the disappointment is still there as to I lagged business acumen and I didn't even know I did. I thought I was a businesswoman. I would make some deals here and there, but I wasn't 100% there. But now I still am not there, but at least now I know how to get there. Now I know what is right and what is wrong. So Patricia Pride also helped me answer so many questions about taxes, about incorporation. If you don't know about incorporating your business, go find out 
um, right away in case you're thinking of doing so um, legal responsibilities you know what are your rights um, so much I mean I got so 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 much value for my money actually to, to be honest I think the, the the course is worth much more than I paid for but I'm really glad that I did follow that course and another beautiful thing about this course is the fact that it's not a course you just read once and you tell yourself okay I've read it I've done it um, I'm ready to work it's something you can always go back to even five years down the line you can be faced with a circumstance of a situation and you're like oh I remember Patricia Bright said something about it and you can always go back to that course and read about it all over again so you can always use it as a reference source you know um, depending on where you are in your social media business depending on because not everything like I said not everything that she mentioned in her course applies to me right now where I am um, in my social media career but I know that maybe in two years from now I would have to maybe seek legal counsel I would have to start looking at my legal responsibilities um, how do I set up contracts and agreements and stuff like that I know that I will get there but then I know that I have something that I can always fall back on, go back to and read again. So it is always valuable. It is always, always, always valuable. And that is something that I cherish about it. Because for me right now, the break platform course is not just a course, it's an investment. Because it's something that I have now that I can always use, I can always go back to. So it's not, it's not a one-time course. That is what I'm trying to drive at. Uh, so last but not least, I started this video asking if you're contemplating on taking this course. Sister, brother, I would advise you from the bottom of my heart, from the goodness of my heart, I want you to experience what I experienced. It, has really, it opens up your eyes. It just gives you clarity. It makes you know that, okay, I'm on the right path. Or, okay, this is what I have to do. This is what I'm doing wrongly. This is how I have to change. This is how I have to get better. It really helps. Trust me. Especially when you have questions that Google cannot answer. You need to really decide for yourself, of course. But personally, I don't think I lost money. I don't think I lost time. I don't think I lost effort. I actually gained so much. All the documentations that she included, her personal experiences encourages you to tell yourself that if she can do it, I actually can. I mean, those people that are successful, they don't have two, three, four heads. They have one head like me. So it's really beautiful that someone can really sit down and really teach us all those things that we don't know about. And many people, many um, influence marketers, many social media successful people do not really share. And we just see them flourishing, which is a good thing. But it's so beautiful that Patricia is willing to share um, these things with us. So like I said, I would suggest, I would recommend this course five star. If anything like six stars would be possible, I would give her even a ten star. I recommend it. I am highly impressed. I got value for my money. Way, 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 way higher value than what I put into it. So if you feel differently about this course, um, let me know in the comment section below. Let me know what you are disappointed about this course. Um, also, let me know if after watching this video, you have decided to go and buy this course and follow it. I would really like to know from you. And last but not least, if you have a question that maybe you are struggling with, anything with regards to social media, influence marketing, online branding, and all of that, um, I would really like to invite you to drop me a comment or drop me your questions down below in the comment section and I'll try as much as possible to help you out, you know, for us to rub minds together. We are all in this school, you know, um, nobody knows it all. We are all learning. We are all growing. So I'll be really willing. I'll be more than happy to really help answer your questions and help you out and see how we can help each other out and benefit from each other thank you so much for watching this video and if you have really enjoyed it i would also like to invite you to please give this video a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and if there are certain kinds of content that you'd like me to make 
please go ahead and drop me your suggestions down below in the comment section as well and i promise i will be on it thank you again for watching and i'll see you in my next video bye